That creepy old man needs to stop staring at me or I'm gonna bring a bottle over his head. You, boy. You are the one they call Rao. Word of your skills in combat are spreading far, young man. I am looking to hire someone such as you. Someone looking for adventure. Someone who does not shy away from a challenge. There is a forest north of here you may have heard of called Hayadoko. It has a reputation for being a dangerous place to pass through. People enter it, but few people leave. At the center of this place lays an ancient tomb, hidden, undisturbed for a millennia, guarded by the forces within those woods. I have no interest in treasure, as I am a wealthy man and can pay you handsomely for your trouble. I am, however, interested in a scroll that is said to be in the tomb. This parchment has no value to the common man. It is only a record of my ancestry, written in an ancient tongue. Rao, I am an old man, trying to understand the breadth of my line. Let us say that this document will allow my family to re-establish its proper place in society. If you procure me this scroll, I will make you a very wealthy man. My boy, I had no idea you were from... <laughs> this is warm. I, just, I want a cold, cold beer. It's not this warm. I'll drink it anyway. It's all right. Rao, I don't like the look of that dark stranger sitting over there. You watch him. I got the feeling... My master left early the next day and arrived at the Heiadoko Forest as the sun began to rise. Baumusu had reacted strangely to this opportunity, saying he did not trust the old man, referring to him as Dark One. He warned Rao not to aid him, as he sensed evil. But my master was young and stubborn. The old man had promised him gold, and its luster coaxed him on.
Yeah! 